Hello everyone, I'm Carlos. I'm partner of 2Open, China e-commerce. We are a, a TP, Tmall partner. Uh, that means we are a certified agency uh, that is certified by the major platforms in China to sell online in China. And basically, um, I'm going to explain you a success case that we have with the company Vitaldin. Vitaldin is a company that is selling basically uh, functional gummies and sports nutritional and health uh, support uh, products. I think I may use this, no? Puedo utilizar esto, no? Sí. Ah, no. No. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to explain you a bit about uh, who we are, who is Vitaldin, uh, the, the key numbers uh, after 15 months of operations of uh, this brand in Tmall Global, and how did we get there, which are the next steps for this brand uh, in China, which is the, the next strategy to follow, and I will summarize the key points. So, as I was saying, uh, we are an official TP, we started in 2010 in Shanghai, and uh, we have right now 40 full employee team com uh, that is in, in Weihai. This is a 30 city in which uh, this is in Shandong province, which allow us to, uh, to have less uh, rotation and uh, less costs when we're talking about employment. So basically we divide ourselves in four main uh, departments. One is uh, compliance, regulatory, because we have a lot of uh, cosmetics, uh, brands, clients, in which we uh, act as a, as a responsible person in the, in the Chinese market. We have the digital marketing uh, department, which is mainly focusing right now in uh, content marketing and social medias. We also have the core business, which is our department of e-commerce in which we are, have, uh, we are doing the whole, let's say, uh, placement in uh, Timo Global, JD Worldwide, and so on. And then we have a business analysis, business intelligence department. After 10 years, we have been working with uh, many different brands in the Chinese market. And about Vitaldin is, uh, as I was saying, it's uh, mainly we're working in China for the uh, GAMI uh, functional gummy line that they have and also the sports nutrition line. Uh, their producer is BNS, Boston Nutraceutical uh, Science, which is the one producing. They have also in the US a subsidiary and where they are producing. This is important for the rest of the presentation that I will mention later. Key numbers. Uh, after 15th, with, uh, we started in uh, June 2022. Uh, in this time, after 15 months, uh, we managed to sell through a Tmall Global platform uh, 45, more than 45,000 units uh, in Tmall Global uh, with an average or, uh, order value of 120 RMB. We keep, we maintain the, the return on refunds in a, in a very low level of 10%, which for the category is quite good. And the investment level, uh, the investment represents around 19% over the GMB. Of course, the first uh, three, four, five months, this percentage was much higher, around 50 to 60 percent. And later on, we managed to put it more or less at the level of 15 percent right now. Conversion rates are between 7 and 10 percent, depending on the months and the promotions that, that we have. Uh, that means with these numbers, what we managed is to position uh, Vitaldin as the top five, six overseas health function gummies uh, brand in, in Timo Global. So actually this is a very good start for a brand. But how did we get there? So of course there's a, a mix of, of reasons. So the first thing that you need to think about China when you, go, when you want to go to China is always um, try to get the right partner. So when you want to sell in Timo Global or JD Worldwide, when you want to sell in cross-border e-commerce in, in China, you need to have 
if you go through the major platforms, you will need to have a, a TP. A TP is a Tmall partner, trading partner, and uh, you need to have uh, very clear. So in Spain, we are only three, only three TP partners. And it's very important that you talk with all of them, that you, that you have different quotations, that you are able to understand the market through those TP partners before you want to, to do the, the big step. So uh, first step, do your homework. Meaning, uh, as Marius was saying before, uh, you should be able to do a, a market research. You should be able to understand very well your competition. You should be able to, to see which formats are they selling, which prices, uh, which kind of communication uh, do you use. So uh, all of this is very important for later on uh, be able to put in place a, a business plan that is realistic and is not, um, well, let's not try to to fool ourselves and, and put numbers that doesn't make any sense just to convince the board of directors. Uh, you need to be very sure that you want to go there at the opportunities there. So when we did this uh, market research initially, what we found out is uh, very interesting points for Vitalding. The first one was that uh, the US brands was dominating the, the market with more than 81% of the market share. So I was saying that uh, Vitaldin is produced by BNS. BNS has a subsidiary in, in the US and we saw the, 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 the real opportunity there. So why don't we put ourselves as a, as a US uh, brand instead of being a Spanish brand? The Spanish brand was having a 0.05% of the market share so far. So uh, we did it and it worked very well. So what I'm trying to say is that we need to be opportunistic. So let's not, we need to be, think out of the box and try to, to find the right spot to be. So we saw that as well that the, the GAMI, functional GAMI's category was just created in 2020 at the beginning and they were experiencing a, a huge growth and that was a good time to enter the market. And we already knew through this uh, diagnosis report and business plan that which kind of ingredients were uh, better, which were the top sellers, which were the formats, for example, uh, they had two kind of formats, 120 gummies or 50 gummies. So we were seeing that the, the top sellers were all uh, the, the big uh, formats. As well, uh, we were seeing the, the, the feedbacks, the reviews from, from the competitors, and a lot of them, they were having uh, very strong issues, negative issues about melting products. So in the China, as uh, you will know probably, in the South it's very hot in the hot season. And for this kind of product, uh, they were melting. So a lot of customers were complaining about this. So what we did, what we did is basically just uh, take the lead and say, okay, then let's do it with, uh, with, uh, with the right way. That means uh, let's do the whole cold chain uh, let's sort of keep the, the whole cold chain throughout the, the whole delivery. And another good point is never to overstock. So it doesn't matter what, what you do. Whoa, whoa, five minutes. Oh my God, I have a lot of <laughs> slides. Uh, don't overstock. Uh, it penalizes you a lot uh, when we're talking about the, um, the platforms. VIP customer service. Uh, we have results, very good results in VIP, but they're very, very demanding. That means um, response time of about 20, 25 seconds, uh, conversion rates very high, uh, but you need to be there from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So be ready for this. And in Chinese, as Marius was saying. Uh, design is uh, it's key also for conversion rate. They want to know everything about the products. They want to know uh, where you produce, they want to know your, your uh, well, everything that you think about is much more complex than, than when you are doing um, designs for Amazon, for example. Another point here is that you need to find the hero products. And more or less, when we are calculating this, you need to think about the Pareto principle. 20% uh, of your portfolio will generate 80% of your sales. This is more or less like this in, in China as well. And you need to find the right ingredients, the right uh, product to promote, to invest on. But you always need to have a prospective hero products as well. 
Another very important point is the uh, store rating and store ranking. So those both factors can affect very positively or negatively uh, in your uh, in your store. And the amount of traffic, organic traffic or free traffic, as they call it, that the platform is uh, sending to you. So therefore, it's very, very important to have those like, APIs on, on, on track. In terms of investment, uh, basically, is uh, when you have a new store, you need to try different options. They have thousands, well, thousands, no, but tens of, of different tools that you can use. Uh, for us, for this category, what is working right now well is the AI, affiliates, and SEM, and Star Store. So I'm sorry, I'm, I don't have time, but uh, I can explain this to you later if you need. Um, about communication, social medias. Own social medias are important, yes. Uh, we created, not from the beginning, but uh, after a few months, and this is important to have. You need to explain to the consumer who you are, what is your philosophy, what is your unique selling points, and so on. But even more important than to create your own official accounts in social media in China, to be honest, is to collaborate with, uh, with third parties. That means key opinion leaders, key opinion consumers, live streamers, that they can provide you with uh, videos, with images that you can share later on your social medias, or even put the videos on your Tmall store. Well, another point that we had is that uh, once we saw that the returns of investment, investment were there, so we started to diversify within Tmall the sales channels. We started with the mini store, we started later on with uh, Tmall Tiangong, so the Ali Health Pharmacy is about diversifying the channels to target a different uh, target audience. A part of this, we need to constantly uh, analyze and report what we're doing in China. For this, we generated a, a, a proprietary visualization and interactive uh, platform just to, to be able to analyze properly the data and from there take steps, strategy. In terms of uh, next steps, so what we are planning to do. So we are in the process of uh, to open the JD store and also cross-border model. That's the next step, natural step. When you are having the, the right return of investment and margins, you need to diversify your channels. And as a summary, just to let you know, so what, all what we talked here, so select very well your TP partner. Make sure that you are doing a nice research before entering the market to understand the competitors, how you need to enter the market. Um, try to, th to think out of, the out of the box. So try to find opportunities and try to be opportunistic, um, depending on the category and the products and so on. Uh, make sure you have the right uh, logistics in place. So that's obvious with this case that I mentioned before but with other cases should be exactly the same. We are now using almost all the time the logistics from the platforms, but uh, this is important that it works very well. So a part of this, uh, VIP customer service, eye-catching designs, uh, find your hero products, uh, keep the store ratings and ranking high to benefit from platforms free traffic, diversify whenever you have the opportunity, and uh, create a presence in the social media, not only in the official channels, but also through collaborations with third parties. And at the end, you need to monitor and try to, um, to, to be better on what you're doing through the, through the data. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry for the short presentation. And uh, from the guys on the back, thank you very much. <laughs> So uh, if you have any questions, sorry, if you, if you have any questions and you want to talk to me later, uh, I'm here. I know I won't go anywhere. Here's my email address as well. So feel free to send an email. Uh, I will reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you.